I'm Mexican cook with Mexican ingredients means Mexican food. Everything that we uh, produce in Mexico, I try to cook it. I believe that now we are realized that we have this uh, kind of, uh, kind of 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 way of growing things that makes our gastronomy today you know uh, the um, for me the the mexican traditional food are made from salsas from sauces you know mole and uh, this kind of food this kind of sauces are the the main uh, the main business of the mexican food you know i prefer to eat a tomato instead of make a salsa, you know? And uh, I prefer to, to, to use these uh, vegetables and fruits as a main course of, uh, of a dish, you know? And uh, that's the way that I like to cook and to eat. The way that we put it in a plate, it's different, but, but the ingredients are the same. The uh, tasting menu, I change it every week and uh, the regular menu of the restaurant, I change it like four times per year. So I don't have like a signature dish. I have like a signature way of cooking that it's uh, seasonal produce and fruit and vegetables. We're gonna try a dry aged beef um, with seaweed and uh, this seaweed reminds like a truffle, you know, I don't know why, but I'm working right now with a lot of seaweeds because uh, for me it's gonna be the uh, very good business in the future. We're gonna try pumpkin and kale with um, raw, trout roe, uh, Mexican um, caldo de pollo, which uh, uh, it's a chicken stock that we used to eat here, uh, like a comfort food of our moms when we are ill. Proud with uh, cauliflower sauce and um, some aged potatoes that I, I, I grow up the small potatoes and then I put it in the earth for uh, six months and then with blood sausage. Uh, actually, I have a, a new tomatarium here in in my backyard, I have more than 25 types of, of heirloom tomatoes and uh, I want uh, for the next year that I, everything that I cook here in the restaurant, I want to produce it here in the, in the backyard. So, well, right now I have uh, with Lucio some places in Xochimilco and uh, we produce tomatoes pumpkin, like a squash pumpkin, uh, who the pumpkin is very Mexican, you know, but they're spread all over the world. Then actually we have like 64 products here in Mexican products that there are common use in the regular kitchens in all over the world and the pumpkin is one of them. Different kinds of kale, uh, small uh, microgreens, um, a lot of uh, radishes, beetroots. You can grow everything here in Mexico. 